Sakhalin Island, situated off the eastern coast of Russia, is renowned for its rugged landscapes, rich biodiversity, and fascinating history. Yet, amid its natural wonders and cultural heritage, one strange legend stands out, the tale of the Sakhalin Island Seawolf. The story of the Sakhalin Island Seawolf dates back to 2006, when Russian soldiers stationed on the island stumbled upon a bizarre and otherworldly creature washed ashore on its remote coastline. According to accounts from the time, the creature was unlike anything the soldiers had ever seen before, possessing a strange and unsettling appearance that defied explanation. Based on a scientific study, the skeletal analysis has revealed that the bones and teeth under scrutiny do not belong to a fish species. Contrary to initial assumptions, the remains do not align with those of a crocodile or alligator. Surprisingly, the skull structure bears resemblance to that of a canine, a stark deviation from the expected reptilian features. Moreover, the hind part of the creature corresponds to that of a fish, raising intriguing questions about its evolutionary lineage and anatomical peculiarities. Described as a massive creature with a sleek tail and possessing silver fur, the sea wolf struck an imposing figure as it lay sprawled on the sandy beach, its long, sinewy limbs splayed out around it. Its presence elicited a mixture of awe and fear among the soldiers, who approached cautiously, unsure of what they had discovered. As word of the creature's discovery spread, rumours and speculation ran rampant among the island's inhabitants. Some believed it to be a mythical sea monster, while others speculated that it was a genetic mutation or an extraterrestrial being from another world. Yet, despite the myriad theories and conjectures, the true nature of the Sakhalin Island sea wolf remained shrouded in mystery. Oddly enough, in the days that followed, it was reported that military helicopters took the specimen away in hopes of studying the mysterious creature and unlocking the secrets of its origin. However, no further update was given in regard to what the creature was and where it came from. As the scientific community debated the origins of the Sakhalin Island sea wolf, local legends and folklore began to emerge, weaving tales of mysterious creatures said to inhabit off the coast of the island. Yet, despite skeptics saying that the creature is a whale, the true nature of the Sakhalin Island sea wolf remained elusive. As quickly as it had appeared, the creature vanished from the public eye, leaving behind only whispers and speculation in its wake. In the years that followed, Many suggested that the mysterious creature could have been a globster. Globsters, mysterious and perplexing entities that wash ashore on beaches around the world, have long captured the imagination of scientists, researchers, and curious onlookers alike. These mysterious masses of organic matter, often described as amorphous, gelatinous blobs, defy easy classification and have given rise to a plethora of theories and conjectures regarding their origins and nature. The term globster was coined in the late 1960s by Ivan T. Sanderson, a noted zoologist and cryptozoologist, to describe anomalous marine carcasses that defied conventional identification. These peculiar entities, often characterized by their massive size, unusual appearance, and lack of recognizable features, have since become the subject of intense scrutiny and speculation within the scientific community. One of the most famous globsters in history washed ashore on a beach in Tasmania in 1960. Dubbed the Tasmanian Globster, this massive gelatinous mass captivated onlookers and confounded experts with its bizarre appearance and unknown origin. Initial assessments suggested that it may have been a decomposing whale carcass, but further analysis revealed discrepancies that cast doubt on this explanation. Subsequent Globster sightings have only added to the mystery surrounding these mysterious entities. From the St. Augustine monster discovered in Florida in 1896 to the Chilean blob found in Punta Arenas in 2003, globsters have continued to baffle and intrigue scientists and laypeople alike with their inexplicable presence and perplexing characteristics. One of the most perplexing aspects of globsters is their apparent lack of identifiable features. Unlike typical marine carcasses, which often retain recognizable anatomical structures such as bones, fins, and scales, Globsters are typically devoid of such characteristics, presenting instead as amorphous, shapeless masses of organic material. This lack of distinct features has led to a wide range of hypotheses regarding the true nature of globsters. 
Some researchers have proposed that they may be the remains of unknown or undiscovered species of marine animals, while others have suggested that they may be the result of natural processes such as decomposition or taphonomy. Another theory posits that globsters may be the result of human activities, such as pollution or military experiments, that have altered the natural environment and led to the creation of these mysterious entities. While there is little concrete evidence to support this hypothesis, it remains a subject of speculation and debate among scientists and researchers. In recent years, advances in technology and analytical techniques have allowed scientists to gain new insights into the nature of globsters. DNA analysis, isotopic analysis, and other cutting-edge methods have provided valuable information about the composition and origin of these mysterious entities, shedding new light on their strange nature. Yet, despite these advancements, many questions remain unanswered. The true origin and nature of globsters continue to elude scientists, leaving them to ponder the mysteries of these perplexing entities and the secrets they may hold about the hidden depths of the ocean and the vast unknowns that lie beyond. The Mysterious Trunco Trunco, the cryptid sea creature that has captivated the imagination of cryptozoologists and enthusiasts alike, remains one of the most mysterious and elusive entities in the realm of unexplained phenomena. Described as a massive, furry and trunked sea creature resembling a hybrid between a polar bear and an elephant, Trunco has been the subject of numerous sightings and reports, yet its existence continues to elude scientific validation. In the coastal town of Margate, South Africa, on October 25, 1924, a strange creature, affectionately dubbed as Trunco, made its mysterious appearance, triggering a wave of fascination and speculation among locals and beyond. The fascinating account of this event was chronicled in an article titled Fish Like a Polar Bear that graced the pages of London's esteemed Daily Mail on December 27, 1924. According to reports, Trunco was first sighted engaged in a dramatic confrontation with two formidable killer whales in the turbulent waters. The intense battle unfolded over a span of three gripping hours, during which the unusual creature astounded onlookers by skillfully deploying its powerful tail to fend off the relentless attacks of its adversaries. A remarkable feat attributed to Trunco was its ability to propel itself out of the water to an impressive height of approximately 20 feet. During its 10-day stay on Margate Beach, a mysterious creature emerged. Yet despite its presence, no scientific investigation was conducted on the carcass while it remained stranded. Consequently, a detailed and reliable description of the creature was never documented, and up until September 2010, it was widely believed that no photographs of the creature had ever been made public. There were unverified accounts from unidentified individuals who allegedly described the creature as having lustrous snowy white fur, an enormous elephant-like trunk, a tail reminiscent of a lobster, and a bloodless carcass. Beachgoers who encountered the creature attempted to measure it, revealing that it spanned a massive 47 feet or 14 meters in length, stood 10 feet or 3 meters wide, and towered 5 feet or 1.5 meters in height. Additional measurements included a trunk length of 5 feet with a diameter of 14 inches, a 10-foot tail, and fur length of 8 inches. The lack of scientific inquiry, combined with the descriptions provided, shrouded the creature in mystery, leaving many perplexed by its peculiar characteristics and unexplained features. In the years that followed, additional sightings of Trunco were reported, further fueling the mystery surrounding this cryptid sea creature. Witnesses described encountering a similar creature in various locations around the world, including Australia and Antarctica, leading some researchers to speculate that Trunco may be a migratory species with a wide-ranging habitat. One of the most intriguing aspects of Trunco is its purported ability to withstand extreme conditions and exhibit remarkable physical prowess. Witnesses have reported observing Trunco engaging in acrobatic feats, such as somersaults and backflips, as well as demonstrating incredible strength and agility in its interactions with other marine creatures. Despite the abundance of eyewitness accounts and anecdotal evidence, skeptics remain unconvinced of Trunco's existence, citing the lack of concrete scientific evidence and the possibility of misidentification or hoaxes. Critics argue that many purported sightings of Trunco can be attributed to known marine animals such as whales, seals, or large fish, whose unusual behavior or appearance may have led to misinterpretation. However, 
Proponents of Trunco argue that the sheer volume and consistency of eyewitness reports lend credibility to the existence of this mysterious creature. They point to the similarities between various accounts and the absence of a known species that matches Trunco's unique characteristics, suggesting that it may represent a previously undiscovered species or an evolutionary offshoot of a known marine animal. In recent years, advances in technology and research techniques have provided new opportunities for investigating the mystery of Trunco. DNA analysis, satellite tracking and underwater exploration have all been proposed as potential avenues for uncovering evidence of Trunco's existence and shedding light on its biology and behavior. Despite these efforts, Trunco remains a mystery, its existence shrouded in mystery and speculation. Whether Trunco represents a real, undiscovered species or merely a figment of the imagination, its legend continues to captivate the minds of cryptozoologists and enthusiasts around the world, inspiring curiosity and wonder about the hidden mysteries of the ocean depths. Until conclusive evidence is obtained, the true nature of Trunco will remain a subject of debate and fascination, adding another layer of intrigue to the rich tapestry of cryptozoological lore. So, what do you make of these mysterious creatures? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.